फेब्राइल सिजर एग्जाम एंट्रेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फेब्राइल सिजर so uh, yeah febrile seizure there was a novel of uh, subtle art of not giving a f so f what is f you can fill in the blanks in the comment i can't say that so febrile seizure febrile seizure let's talk so i am a neat pg student my rank is just going to come let me finish this 10 mcqs so let's see how it goes yeah febrile seizure can you see febrile seizure in a newborn yes or no द आंसर इज न्यू बॉर्न में कोई रोल नहीं है फेब्राइल सीजर का डियर फेब्राइल सीजर इज कॉमन इन सिक्स मंथ्स टू फाइव इयर्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम क्वेश्चन दिल से पढ़े मुंह बना के ना पढ़े वरना मुंह बनाए नंबर आएंगे फिर बाद में उन्हें रोना पिटना या कुछ नहीं करना सो प्लीज ट्राई टू यू नो फोकस सो फेब्राइल सीजर इज कॉमन इन सिक्स मंथ्स टू फाइव इयर्स पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट नंबर टू फेब्राइल सीजर इज नॉट कॉमन इन न्यू बॉर्न like what is the meaning of febrile seizure doctor my baby got very high fever and after fever the baby got a seizure matlab to ye samajh mein aa raha hai na that's what we are trying to understand over here ke my baby was having very high fever and after high fever the baby got a seizure this is febrile seizure which is common in children from 6 months to 5 years when they have a very high fever they and land up into seizure sometimes which is not because of any meningitis or any sepsis which is exclusively because of high fever this this seizure which the child has got it is because just because he's got a high fever not because of meningitis or no, not because of i would say hypoglycemia you know i hope you have your understanding you are you are spiritually connected with me a very importantly so newborn baby so newborn baby you know exactly uh, yeah we have a id who says uh, why not in newborns yes newborn baby when he got a high, very high fever then we can't say that this seizure is uh, uh, is just because of the fever because in newborn baby we should always rule out neonatal sepsis this process of this high fever followed by seizure which is just because the seizure is just because of the fever not because of anything else is only seen in children if it happens in a newborn it is mostly neonatal sepsis just remember this that's how it is that's how it is in a newborn baby you will not think of febrile seizure from 6 months to 5 years old baby from 6 months to 5 years old baby there you will think of febrile seizure वरना किसी में अलावा नहीं सोचोगे फेब्राइल सीजर इफ अ न्यू बॉर्न बेबी हैज गॉट अ फीवर फॉलोड बाय सीजर देन यू हैव टू डू अ लंबर पंचर देन यू हैव टू डू अ सीएसएफ एनालिसिस एंड ऑल अदर थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो बॉटम लाइन व्हाट इज द बॉटम लाइन द बॉटम लाइन इज फेब्राइल सीजर इज कॉमन इन चिल्ड्रन 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 एंड 6 मंथ्स टू 5 इयर्स after 5 years if i talk about newborn if i talk about someone after 5 years or newborn if i talk about they got a fever followed by a seizure then febrile seizure diagnosis is ruled out i have to think of other problems as in meningitis i have to get a csf done hypoglycemia i should check the sugar hyponatremia can cause seizure i will check the sodium hypokalemia hypocalcemia all those things will be will be thought about yeah yeah that's true that's true aditya you're right now next question this to we have done in the last class only which is the most commonest cause of seizure in a newborn can you answer in the comment please yes swati and kritika are right the most commonest cause of seizure in a newborn chote baby ko dohre aa rahe hain which is the most commonest cause the most commonest cause is bachcha paida ho ke roya nahi hai the most commonest cause is hypoxia the most commonest cause is baby has not cried immediately after birth have you remember i told you in the neonatology classes it's better to give no baby than giving a bad baby it's better to give no baby than giving a bad baby so very importantly the most commonest cause of seizure in a newborn will be uh, what is called hypoxia which is the most commonest cause of seizure in a child in a child in a child will be febrile seizure okay child okay shabdon ka khel hai bilkul moti ki tarah se clear hona chahiye child bole to febrile seizure ho jayega newborn bole to hypoxia ho jayega which is the most commonest type of seizure in a newborn that also we have done the most commonest type of seizure in a newborn will be subtle seizure now how many types of febrile seizures we have types of febrile seizure my 4 year old daughter she got a very high fever followed by seizure so my diagnosis is febrile seizure how many types of febrile seizure we have we have two types of febrile seizure yes kritika and aditya you right we have simple febrile seizure and complex febrile seizure how do you differentiate simple febrile from complex febrile simple febrile seizure they are usually generalized tonic clonic seizure they are usually generalized tonic clonic 
which lasts for less than 15 minutes and happens once in a day. Once in a day. I'll repeat again. Simple febrile seizure. It's mostly of GCS types, uh, GTCS type, generalized tonic clonic seizure, which happens for less than 15 minutes and happens once in a day. Whereas complex febrile seizure, usually are focal seizure. Complex febrile seizure are focal seizure. They last for more than 15 minutes and helps and happens more than one time in a day. So I'll repeat again in this beautiful slide. I'm able to appreciate that simple febrile seizure is the one which is which in that seizure there's a generalized tonic clonic seizure types. It is it happens for less than 15 minutes and happens once in a day. Whereas complex, the name itself says complex. Yar. The complex febrile seizure is, is usually focal. Is usually focal. Happens more than 15 minutes duration and happens multiple times in a day. And last question, what is the treatment? Yes, Virinder. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Virinder. So what's the treatment of choice? Love you too. So uh, the treatment of choice is rectal diazepam, rectal diazepam and intranasal midazolam rectal diazepam and intranasal midazolam rectal diazepam and intranasal midazolam okay.